Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. I want to share, and I want to ask you a question before I read God's Word. Are you a fool? Or are you wise? What would everyone else around you say if I were to ask them how they feel about you? What do you say about you? Now, you line yourself up with this word and see if you reflect one or the other. Proverbs chapter 1 verse 5 through 7 followed by Pat's two cents. A wise man will hear and will increase learning and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels to understand a proverb and the interpretation the words of the wise and their dark sayings the fear of the lord is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction mm. yeah one thing about the king james version and the way some of the wording is it does not mince words i mean when it goes for the jugular it just tells it like it is oh yes and a lot of times we don't read the words so we don't measure ourselves by the word we measure ourselves by other people but my question to you is are you mistakenly measuring yourself by other fools or have you found wisdom in people who follow God's way are you following them mark the perfect man Behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. Who are you marking steps with? Who are you staying in pace with? Whose beat are you marching to the rhythm of? Yeah, everybody marches to the rhythm of a beat. Yeah. Left, your left, your left, bow, left, bow, left, bow, left, your left. Now, who are you marching to? Because let me tell you, depending on what rhythm you're marching to, that will determine what your future holds for you and what you hold for your future. See, a lot of times we don't realize we can avoid so many pitfall, pitfalls if we just use the little nut that's sitting in the skull there, in the little cranial hole, yeah, if we use that little thing that looks like macaroni and all that kind of mess, we would actually get a lot further in life. But see, some of you, you open your mouth wide. Then you end up talking loud, but you're saying nothing. I used to hang out at the nightclub. Oh, man, between 19 and 27 years of age. I never heard so many people talk loud and say nothing. And dum diddy dum dum sitting up there trying to fit in. Yeah, I heard that. I mean, putting on the little masquerade, acting like them, talking like them, walking like them, waddling like them, quacking like them. I mean, what for? I wanted to fit in. Why? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. But that's what I thought I had to do. That's why they say, foolishness is bound in the heart of a child i was full of foolishness and i acted accordingly there comes a time when you have to put away childish things now you can walk like a fool act like a fool okay you can be a fool if you want to but there is a heavy price to pay 
for that type of communication, that type of behavior, that type of association. Association brings on assimilation. Now, if you're looking at some of your buddies and in your mind you're saying, hmm, they sure are stupid. Then you have to look in the mirror and say, hey, you. Why are you hanging around with them? Does that mean you stupid too? Because, see, I got to throw this in. There is an old term that says, water seeks its own level. Is that your level? The people you hang with, is that really who you are? Or are you sabotaging your future by hanging with turkeys that will never learn how to fly? What are you doing? What is your choice? Gobble, gobble? Or soar like the eagle? Which is your choice? Living in the basement? Or moving to the top suite, the presidential suite. In life is what I'm talking about. What is your choice? You can live in that basement, get all your little canned foods together, all your peanuts, your little bottles of water, your little portal potty. It's going to get a little stanky up in there, but you know, you can have at it if you want it. It's your choice. It's always been. Your choice. But see, the presidential suite in life, we're not talking basement versus presidential suite in terms of stuff, material. We're talking in terms of stature. Who do you choose to be? What kind of man do you want to be known as? A man of wisdom, a man of good sense, a man of class, character, integrity, or a fool. Which do you want to be known as? How do you want to think of yourself? Do you know fools live a very difficult life? There's a lot of drama, a lot of chaos, a lot of fussing, fighting, fuming butt kicking, all of that. And to them, that's the norm. Nah, come on. You can do better than that. Get up out of that basement. Because God has a presidential suite for you. And if you allow him to use this word and godly counsel to help you grow, mature, develop, oh, I am telling you, if you humble yourself, receive instruction with humility and allow God to remake and remold you into something beautiful and meet for the master's use, your life will be drama free, not trouble free because we're on this earth. And that comes with the package called L-I-F-E. But if you handle yourself while you're going through this this maze of life things won't be so hard there won't be so many limits put on you because when you live the life of a fool you place limits right there before your very own path you're the one placing those limits not them you now, you may want to blame them, whoever them represents to you, the word them. But if you take responsibility and you ask God to help you, have mercy on me, Lord, a sinner. Have mercy on me, Lord. I've been walking with you for years, but I'm a mess. Have mercy on me, Lord. Help me. 
put me back together again. I am fragmented. I'm confused. I'm chewed up. I'm spit up, spit out. I don't know what to do. And then when he tells you what to do, you do it. You will start to see more and more peace, favor with man as you receive favor from God. Now you can be obstinate all you want. You can be difficult, rambunctious, mean, cruel, argumentative, hard, all you want. But that's all you're going to get from life. Right there in the basement. Or you can learn to love, listen, obey, cooperate, care. Be considerate and thoughtful. Give of yourself. Be kind instead of mean, cruel, and grumpy. Be sweet instead of sour. You will find that nicer and nicer people are drawn into your life. And one day you will say, Lord, you have taken me to the mountaintop. I now know what it means to love and be loved. I now know what it means to live at peace and be a peacemaker. I now know what it means to be strong, yet mild and humble. I know what it means to love my neighbor as I love myself. Healing comes with that. Deliverance comes with that. Freedom. Real life with joy unspeakable, full of glory. Ask God to help you. Then do what he says and be a wise man that will hear and will increase in learning. Then you'll understand and you will truly be wise.